So pricing your work can be so frustrating it can be impossible to know where to start. Trying to piece things together can leave your pricing just kind of all over the board. So I'm gonna share with you a free Google Sheet that has a formula where you can just kind of input some specific information and it will output a price for your artwork. This will give some legs for your pricing to stand on and it will give you confidence when you're pricing your artwork. Well, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nicholas Jackson and I'm an artist in Northern Minnesota. Moo. And I have always struggled with pricing my work. I, I feel like I've just been all over the board not knowing how to do it. I'm just really inconsistent. And what's not helpful is that artists are typically not very keen to share with the public or other artists what they charge. It's kind of taboo. And so today I'm going to share with you a formula um, that I've kind of gleaned from various places where you can take basic information about your labor and materials, put that information in, and it will quickly give you a price for your artwork. The link to the free art pricing formula worksheet is below. You can grab that if you want to follow along as we kind of talk about it, or you can just kind of jump in and do it yourself. All right, now we're at the computer. I have the document open. I'm going to show you how to input your information, such as your labor, materials, overhead costs, into the spreadsheet, and it will kick out price for your artwork. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, this may seem a little bit overwhelming, but we're going to kind of go column and by column explaining what information you're going to put in. All right, so we're going to start with your labor. Your labor is the time that you're putting in to make the artwork, okay? And so you're going to put that in an hour format. So we're going to start with 10. Next, we're going to put in the hourly rate that we would like to make uh, to survive. So when you're putting this in, consider your skill level and experience and just what your desired income is. We're going to put $30 an hour in there for now. And this piece is going to take 10 hours, okay? So that's your labor and materials. And you'll notice it's going to kick out $300 because 30 times 10. Now our next column is super important because we need to put in the materials that it takes to make this piece of art. We're talking painting, paints, frames, your canvas or paper that you're painting on. Uh, the list just kind of goes on and on. And uh, you need to break down uh, things that you necessarily didn't buy specifically for the project, but that you're using. Okay. So for example, your brushes, um, you need to take into consideration that it's going to be a part of the, the cost of making this painting. All right. So let's say we're going to frame this and we're going to say that's going to be $40 for a frame. The paper I'm using is $5 a sheet of paper. Uh, the paint is probably maybe let's say uh, $10 worth of paint. Uh, my brushes, we're going to say $5. And the shipping for this piece is probably going to be around $20. Uh, packaging materials are three. And then I've left some space for you to continue on and add the different materials uh, that it's going to take for you to make this piece. So if you're working in another medium, you may have other materials. You can just plug that in there. And of course, it adds it up and puts it at the bottom. So this next column is actually pretty interesting because we're going to talk about indirect costs. Okay, so indirect costs are things that it takes for you to operate as a business and as an artist. And so I have started to add a few of the things in here in here for you. And you can go ahead and add in your particular indirect costs that you have. So an indirect cost is anything that you use to produce your artwork, but that doesn't necessarily like end up in the final art piece, but you kind of need it in order to make art. And what you want to do is input the costs during the time, the duration of your art making. Um, whether or not we've chosen 10 hours, I'm going to put a week's worth um, of indirect costs in here because uh, let's say I, I work on a piece for an entire week. Um, I want to know what are my indirect costs for that amount of time. So if you're working on a piece, let's say for a month, you would want to put the month worth of indirect costs. I'm going to go ahead and fill this out so that you can see what it costs for me per week. Um, just with some generic numbers, these will be different for you. All right, so I've broken down some of my indirect costs. You can see I have internet, electricity, the cameras I use to make YouTube videos, health insurance, the heat or AC that you have in your studio space. So if you rent a studio space, you might want to put that, that in as well. Let's go ahead and put that in, rent. Um, if you're making it on your computer, 
you have computer uh, expenses. So if you're using like the Adobe Suite, uh, Creative Suite, you're gonna need to pay for that every month. And then of course, any leftover art supplies that you don't use uh, for the actual production. Just like in the last column, I've added some spaces so that you can put your own indirect costs in there. Go ahead and think about this. What's nice about this is it's gonna stay relatively the same from artwork to artwork if you're making kind of the same pieces over and over again. These necessarily won't change. And so every time you come back to this form, it's not gonna be, you're gonna have to put this in and work this out every time. But figure it out on a monthly basis and then kind of break it down from there so that you can easily put your indirect costs in. And so this next column is about profit margin, okay? So every business has to produce profit in order to grow and to maintain itself as a business, okay? So you need to think about what kind of profit margin are you wanting to make? You know, 10 to 15 is a good starting place. And so if you put this in there, it's gonna add that profit to your overall cost. Now, don't be afraid to put this in there. You're not just working behind a cash register where you get paid by the hour. There are other things you have to consider when making your art that you want to make sure are covered in the cost of your art production. And so profit is something that biz every business has to think about and includes in the price of their product. And you need to do that as well as an artist. So go ahead and just put in whatever number you feel comfortable with. 10 to 15 is a good place to start. All right, so this section over here where I say do not edit the, the columns is what's kind of doing some calculations for you behind the scenes. So the first one is gonna be your overhead dollar amount. So the overhead dollar amount is the a percentage of your labor and materials, okay? So that's combining that in that area automatically for you in this calculator. You know, it's really important to know what is the overhead of your business? What does it cost to operate? Because you need to make sure that you're including that in the price of your artwork. If your overhead is very close to what you're charging, you're gonna, your profit margins are gonna be horrible, very, very small. You may think, hey, I charge $300 for this art piece, but if it costs you $200 to make, then that's not going to be sustainable to you as an artist. Or even very fun if you're just doing this as a hobby. So we talked about profit percentage. And so this profit margin area is going to be calculating labor materials and overhead costs and giving you the amount of profit that you should be making in this artwork. And it's gonna, of course, add it to the final for you in your grand total. So your indirect cost divided by your direct costs give you, gives you your overhead percentage. And this is calculated for you because you don't have to worry about all of that. And so this direct cost column is just combining your labor and materials together uh, so that you can have an idea of what it costs you directly to make the art piece. All right, and so your grand total is taking all of this into consideration and calculating it out for you. You don't have to think about necessarily how this is all working, but it's I'm giving you just kind of the basics of what's happening here so that you get the grand total. So basically how this is working is that you're adding the direct cost to the overhead dollar amount to the profit margins, and that is giving your wholesale price. This isn't if it was gonna be in a store, this is what it's gonna cost as an original piece of artwork. So that's all going to make your final grand total, and it's all happening under the hood. So all you have to do is fill in the green areas here in this form, okay? And so if you were to basically only go, let's say, on the an hourly rate, you can see that cost is less than half of what you should be charging in order to make this artwork, considering that you're running a business and you have other costs. I realize this can get a little complicated as you're trying to figure out what is the best way in order to price my artwork, but remember, this is just a starting point. It helps you understand what it costs you as an artist to make art and kind of get you started in making an idea of where your art should be priced. Now remember that art needs to be priced based upon the, the, the market value of what it goes for, not based upon just a calculator. Remember, this is only to get you started. Don't get hung up on this, but this will give you an idea of where you can kind of launch out from, okay? So don't get hung up on it, but use it as a tool uh, to get started. Art is not trading your time for money. I'm gonna say that again. Art is not trading your time for money. You know, Picasso has a famous story that I'm going to kind of paraphrase here, where he's asked in the park to create this drawing or painting. 
She says, sure, yeah, I'll go do it. And he quickly, in just a few moments, does a couple strokes and hands it back uh, to the person asking for it. And they ask, well, how much? And he, you know, gives this outrageous number of what it would be. The person's shocked and is like, why, why? That only took you a couple minutes to do. And, you know, and Picasso replies, no, that took me my entire lifetime. And that's what's special about artists is that you are crafting and you're learning and you're growing as an artist. And that each moment and each step that you take as an artist is bringing value to your artwork. And I hope that this Google Sheet has given you a little bit of organization and a jumping off platform for pricing your artwork. So if you haven't already downloaded your copy of the Art Pricing Formula Worksheet, go ahead and grab that. The link is in the description. And I'm sharing this with you. I'm giving this away because I believe in you as an artist and I want you to succeed. Remember that you are valuable and that you're loved. We'll see you next time.